Hi, I'm Anne Nwawado. Here's Channel TV News update for August the 4th, 2020. Nigeria's daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 have consistently been on the decline for the past four days, with the Nigeria Center for Disease Control announcing 288 infections in the last 24 hours, the lowest in about two months. With the latest figure, the total confirmed COVID-19 cases in the country now stand at 44,129, of which 20,663 patients have been discharged and 896 deaths recorded. And it's the end of the road for seven suspects, including a soldier, who have been arrested over the attack on a bullion van in Abakali Kithiabonyo state capital, which led to the death of four policemen. The suspects allegedly confessed that some of the rifles recovered belonged to the policemen they killed during the robbery. The incident occurred on July the 29th, while some policemen were escorting the van, which was transporting money from Inugu to Abakaliki. The judiciary matters. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has fixed August 11th, 12th and 13th for the trial of former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Mohamed Adoke. Mr. Adoke was rearranged today alongside an Abuja-based businessman, Mr. Ali Abubakar, on an amended charge of 14 counts bordering on money laundering of 400 million Nara. The defendants have pleaded not guilty to the charges. The recent revelations on the activities of the Niger Delta Development Commission may have come as a surprise to many Nigerians, but not for the governor of River State. The governor, Nyesam Wike, the NDDC, had since deviated from its original mandate and has become a cash cow for politicians. He stated his view on our breakfast program, Sunrise Daily, in Port Athet, the River State capital. On the international scene, right groups in Zimbabwe say the military and police have continued to arrest dozens of opposition supporters and activists in what appears to be a concerted effort to silence criticism of the government. Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights say more than 60 people have been detained and the opposition party movement for democratic change says dozens of its members have been arrested or have gone into hiding. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for a recap. I'm Anne Wawado. Thanks for watching.